I hate it when it's rainy and gray and cold outside. I mean, it's just so dark and depressing and cold and it's hard to stay motivated to get anything done. Ugh. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you guys how bad I am at planning things. I head back to Cincinnati this weekend, this Sunday to be exact, and my flight leaves exactly two hours before the Super Bowl begins. I'm gonna be watching the Super Bowl from an airplane that's probably gonna be like 20,000 feet above the ground, and also at airports. I have a couple layovers that I have to deal with. That It'll be the entire Super Bowl that I'm spent traveling. But the interesting thing is I'm still gonna watch the Super Bowl. I'm gonna watch it from 20,000 feet in the air on the dumb plane Wi-Fi on my phone that they have. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm sure plenty of other people will be watching it too. I'm gonna watch it in the airports. I have a couple layovers that I have to deal with and I'm gonna watch the entire Super Bowl still because they're gonna broadcast them in the airports. They might even broadcast it on the plane. Every year the Super Bowl rolls around, it's a pretty big deal and today I'm gonna explain to you guys why that is. I understand that a really large portion of my audience is either A, a gamer, uh, someone that just plays video games all day and probably doesn't care that much about sports if you care about any sports, or B, someone that does not live in the United States and therefore probably doesn't have that much exposure to American football at least. This video is actually meant for you guys. I want to talk to you guys and explain a little bit of why all the hype. I'd wager there's probably a pretty large portion of you guys that watch the LCS, right? Either NA, LCS, EU, LCS, or follow competitive League of Legends, and you realize that in North America, it's pretty much, it feels like, it's always either TSM, CLG, or C9 that's doing well. I mean, sometimes there is a challenger team that comes up and then starts it's dominating, sort of like how Immortals and Energy are doing now, uh, but that's the exception, right? It's not the rule. C9 did it and they were able to secure a spot where they've built a franchise over the years, but th that's again the exception, not the rule, where you have an up-and-coming team that's able to just start having success for years on end. The same goes for EU LCS. I mean, right now you have Gamers 2, Ocelot's Revenge coming out and just stomping everyone, and I think they're currently at the top of the table at the time of me making this video, where that might happen every once in a while, and it's really exciting when it does happen, but that's not something that you expect. It's not something that happens all that often. You sort of just expect everyone to play their games and in the end for a fanatic to beat everyone. This happens in a lot of sports where as time goes on, there's just a number of teams that are able to build franchises over the years while other teams struggle to either stay in the top league if you're talking about association football or, you know, they never really get a real shot at the title. But that's what makes American football so exciting and so fun. Because the Broncos beat the Patriots in the AFC Championship game, this will be the eighth year in a row that we have had a different team win the Super Bowl. For the past eight years, there have been eight different champions, which isn't something that you see that often in sports. I mean, to put that in perspective, in La Liga, the Association Football League for Spain, or Soccer League, whatever you want to call it, there have only ever been nine teams to win the league. I'm pretty sure La Liga has been around since like 1930, or 1929, I mean, it's been around for like 80 plus years. But despite how long it's been around, there have only ever been nine teams to win. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Athletic Bilbao, Valencia, Real Batiste, Real Sociedad, Deportivo La Coruña, I think is how you say it, and Sevilla. In the grand scheme of things, there are so many more instances where you can see a league and you just see one team winning over and over and over. I mean, in La Liga, I think it's like 80% of the championships or 75% of the championships have been won by either Barcelona or Real Madrid. And that's just sort of how plenty of sports go. If you want to root for a team that's going to win, you're sort of restricted to the few teams that have a shot at winning each year, which is not typically a very wide pool of teams. If you want to root for a team that has a really good shot of winning worlds, in League of Legends, you have to pick a team from Korea, and you typically have to pick like SKT. But that's not the case for American football, and that's one of the big things that makes it so exciting every year. If you guys remember, I released a video not that long ago, I think it was a couple months ago, where I mentioned the Carolina Panthers in it. I was making some sort of analogy between the LCS and between traditional sports, where I talked about how the Carolina Panthers were the worst team in the NFL in 2010. They only won two games out of the 16-game season. And now here, in the 2015-2016, 
16th season, they're in the Super Bowl and they're favorites to win. One of the coolest things about the NFL and American football is you can just pick a team. You could just pick a team to root for and unless you pick like the Cleveland Browns, Typically, every team has a shot at becoming Super Bowl champions in like a couple years, in five years or so. Now, actually making that happen is honestly a really difficult thing to do. There are teams that do it, like the Panthers. Right now, the Panthers are gonna play the Broncos, which is gonna be a fantastic game. I cannot wait to see it. You'll either have the Carolina Panthers winning their first Super Bowl ever, or you'll have the Denver Broncos led by Peyton Manning, who's arguably the greatest quarterback of all time, who he's playing his last game. He's retiring after this season, almost certainly. I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a great game, I think. And today I wanted to just sort of share some of my excitement with you. Explain a little bit of why it is a lot of people go crazy for the Super Bowl each year. There's also a bunch of funny commercials, so that might play into it. It's starting to rain now, I gotta bring you guys in before the rain destroys my camera. Anyway though, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's video. I will see you all tomorrow, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.